today was brilliant. So excited, sad, obviously reflective, an honour to be a part of it actually. So the last display for the Classic Hornet and I had a tear in my eye because it's the end of an era. So, you know, the range of emotions was just off the scale. Honour to be a part of it. We acquired the Hornet to ensure our continued relevance for our air combat capability. And those that were operating it and sustaining it thought, this plastic jet, you know, will it last? Being software driven, it was expected to be upgradable through its life. And after over 30 years of service, it has proven to be all of that. And throughout, we used it well. Now while the classic Hornet will no longer take to our skies, the fighter and attack aircraft will remain in the memories of those who flew and maintained it. The distinct pencil-like nose and cockpit, the unmistakable roar of its F-404 engines and the way it nimbly rolled and banked. The F-18 classic Hornet had the ability to attack air, ground and maritime targets with a top speed of around Mark 1.8 and an unrefueled combat range of around 740 kilometres. Now I might have tested both of those parameters and a few more at various times. So I'm sure you'd all agree, a truly remarkable aircraft. The Classic Hornet set the mark for manoeuvrability, systems integration and the ability to be a true multi-role aircraft. Unquestionably the Hornet has been an exceptional aircraft. Exceptional in its own right, but all the more exceptional because it's been crewed and cared for by exceptional people. By the men and women of the Royal Australian Air Force, by pilots, by engineers, by technicians, by logisticians and many other support personnel. As this incredible FA-18AB Classic Hornet ends its role as a constant sentinel of the Australian skies, we are transitioning to our second century of Air Force with the F-35 taking its key role in a truly networked joint force, capable of delivering air power effects for the defence of Australia and its national interests. So simply, thank you to all who played a part in the record of achievements of the Classic Hornet. There's so many memories after so many years of flying. You know, the first time I ever flew the Classic Hornet was a wow moment, right? Because it's so agile, it's so powerful, I just love it. And over all the years that I've been flying the aeroplane, whether it's training students or going out on ops or on exercises overseas, working without allies, it's really hard to pinpoint, you know, one special moment. But I tell you what, today rates up there. So yes, uh, she is just a hunk of metal and plastic. But the beating heart of this war chariot is the people who maintained, sustained, and operated her. What all of you, what we achieved is truly remarkable. She is indeed a classic.